In this video, I'm going to show you how you can claim, unstake and remove liquidity from Uniswap. Welcome to Everbit Helps. I hope you find today's video useful and if you do then please give it a like and share. Plus for the latest information on Uniswap, please check out everbithelps.co.uk. Uniswap UNI farming is coming to an end as of November 17th of 2020. And with the incentives coming to an end, there's currently no clear direction from Uniswap as to whether they're going to be extending UNI farming or launching new pools for their users. As you may be aware from my previous tutorial, Uniswap have been running four ETH-based liquidity pools since September 17th, which have been earning 583,000 333 uni per week per pool. With the sheer amount of collateral added into the pools, Uniswap has reached to a total of over $2 billion, making them the top of the DeFi list in terms of total value locked. So what's going to happen in the next few days when all this comes to an end? Well, the worry is that token prices may significantly drop if users withdraw liquidity and sell off previously mined you and I. There's also a lot of concern about the amount of ETH that will be withdrawn from the pools and sold or reinvested into higher earning incentives. Previously, ETH rallied when you and I farming began, so the opposite could potentially occur when it all ends. Now maybe Uniswap will try to incentivize their users to remain with new pools once rewards are no longer available but with no conclusive answers as to what will happen when the four farms containing over 2 billion clothes, maybe it's time to withdraw before the rest of the masses do and potentially ETH gas prices start to rise. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly that, how to claim, unstake and remove your liquidity from Uniswap. So with your associated wallet connected, head across to the pool that you've entered into and click on to manage. You'll want to claim any unclaimed UNI that you have, and I've got 36 here that I can claim. Or alternatively, you can claim these if you're using third party sites that I've covered in separate tutorials, such as the likes of ZapperFI or the site that I'm currently using, Zerion. I'm going to go ahead from Zerion and unstake and claim from here using the button in the center of the screen. Where I'm then prompted to pay a gas fee. Now this is gonna be the first of three transactions that I need to make. So that's the reason why I mentioned doing this now as the fees are still quite low. And you'll wanna be careful with this as if the transaction fees become higher, it could potentially cost you more money to claim an unstake compared to what you've actually earned in tokens. You can edit the fees in here by going to the Advanced tab and using in conjunction with ETH Gas Station. And this states that it's going to cost me $1.68, which is especially low compared to when I first entered the pool. Once that's set, you can confirm and then view the transaction over on Etherscan, where it states that it'll take approximately four minutes to go through. And now that's gone through at $1.35 and it took just 33 seconds to complete. So that was a pretty simple way to claim an unstake. So the only thing we have left to do now is remove our liquidity. So I'll show you over on Uniswap now. And if we hit the remove icon against the pool where we've added liquidity, we can then slide this up to 100% to remove it all, or you can choose max. I'll first need to approve before I can remove. And I have 0.277 RAT Bitcoin and 9.56 ETH that I'm going to be removing. And I'll need to sign the ledger signature request here. And this is going through at 48 cents and should take a couple of minutes. And once that's been approved, I can then remove. Confirm my removal request. Pay my gas fee here, which again is showing pretty low at just over $2. 
and my transaction is now confirmed. And I can view that transaction over on Etherscan, where I can see it took just 19 seconds and cost me $1.53. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple process and my deposit is no longer appearing from the main screen here. And that completes my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video today and if you did then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks and I'll see you soon.